treatment of adult LCH. Standard treatment options. The lack of clinical trials limits the ability to make evidence-based recommendations for adult patients with Langerhans cell histiocytosis (LCH). Most investigators have previously recommended treatment according to the guidelines for the treatment of childhood LCH. It is unclear, however, whether adult LCH responds as well as the childhood form of the disease. In addition, the drugs used in the treatment of children are not as well tolerated when used in adults. Excessive neurologic toxicity from vinblastine, for example, prompted closure of the LCHA1 trial. A consensus opinion reported on the evaluation and treatment of adult patients with LCH. 1. Discussion continues, particularly with regard to optimal first-line therapy with some experienced clinicians preferring to start with vinblastine and prednisone and others with alternative therapy, such as single-agent cytosine aerobinicide or cladribine. 2. Level of Evidence, 3. IAC Treatment of Pulmonary LCH It is difficult to judge the effectiveness of various treatments for pulmonary LCH because patients can recover spontaneously or have stable disease without treatment. Treatment options for adult patients with pulmonary LCH include the following. Smoking cessation. Smoking cessation is mandatory because of the apparent causal effect of smoking in pulmonary LCH. 3. Most adult patients with LCH have gradual disease progression with continued smoking. The disease may regress or progress with the cessation of smoking. 4. Steroid therapy. It is not known whether steroid therapy is efficacious in the treatment of adult pulmonary LCH because reported case series did not control for smoking cessation. 3. Chemotherapy. Some patients have been reported to respond to cladribine therapy. 3,5. Lung transplantation. Lung transplantation may be necessary for adults with extensive pulmonary destruction from LCH. 6. This multi-center study reported 54% survival at 10 years post-transplant, with 20% of patients having recurrent LCH that did not impact survival, longer follow-up of these patients is needed. 6. Another study confirmed an approximate 50% survival at 10 years and improved hemodynamic changes associated with pulmonary arterial hypertension but did not alter pulmonary function testing or incidence of pulmonary edema. 7. The best strategy for follow-up of pulmonary LCH includes physical examination, chest radiographs, lung function tests, and high-resolution computed tomography CT, scans. 8. Treatment of bone LCH. Treatment options for adult patients with bone LCH include the following. Curatage followed by observation, with or without intralesional corticosteroids. As in children, adults with single bone lesions should undergo curatage of the lesion followed by observation, with or without intralesional corticosteroids. Extensive or radical surgery leading to loss of function and disfigurement is contraindicated at any site, including the teeth or jaw bones. Systemic Chemotherapy Systemic chemotherapy will cause bone lesions to regress. A variety of chemotherapy regimens, including cladribine, have been published in the treatment of a relatively limited number of patients. Refer to the chemotherapy for the treatment of other single-system disease and multi-system disease section of this summary for more information. Low-dose radiation therapy. For those failing chemotherapy. Low-dose radiation therapy may be indicated and should be tried before any radical surgery that leads to extensive loss of function and disfigurement. Radiation therapy is also indicated for impending neurological deficits from vertebral body lesions or visual problems from orbital lesions. Two series have reported the following. A German cooperative radiation therapy group reported on a series of 98 adult patients with LCH, most of whom, 60 of 98, had only bone lesions, and 24 had multi-system disease including bone, treated with radiation therapy. 9 level of evidence, 3 IADIV, of 89 evaluable patients, 77% achieved a complete remission, 
9.9% developed an infield recurrence, and 15.7%, 14 of 89, experienced a progression outside the radiation fields. A retrospective analysis of 80 patients treated with radiation therapy alone reported a 77% complete remission rate and a 12.5% partial remission rate, with 80% long-term control noted in adults. No adverse late effects were reported. 10. Bisphosphonate therapy. Case reports and case series have described the successful use of bisphosphonates, both intravenous pamadronate and arosolidronate, in controlling severe bone pain in patients with multiple osteolytic LCH bone lesions. 1113, a multi-institutional review of bisphosphonate therapy in children and adults with LCH found that most adult patients were given oral zoledronic acid, and most pediatric patients were given pamadronate. 14, because of the increased toxicity of chemotherapy in adults, bisphosphonate therapy could be used before chemotherapy in multifocal bone disease. Response of other organs, such as skin and soft tissue to bisphosphonate therapy has been reported. 15. Anti-inflammatory agents with trifosphamide. Another approach using anti-inflammatory agents, pioglitazone and rofcoxib, coupled with trifosphamide in a specific timed sequence was successful in two patients who had disease resistant to standard chemotherapy treatment. 16. Treatment of single-system skin disease. Treatment options for adult patients with single-system skin disease include the following. Surgical excision. Localized lesions can be treated by surgical excision, but as with bone, mutilating surgery, including hemivalvectomy, should be avoided unless the disease is refractory to all available therapy. Topical therapy. Topical therapies are described in greater detail in the Childhood Isolated Skin Involvement section of this summary and include the following. Topical or intralesional corticosteroid. Topical tacrolimus. Topical iniquimod. 17,18. Sorolin and long-wave ultraviolet A radiation, PUVA, and UVB. Therapies such as puva-slash-UVB may be more useful in adults because long-term toxicity may be reduced. 19,20. Systemic therapy. Systemic therapy for severe skin LCH includes oral methotrexate, oral thalidomide, oral interferon alpha, or combinations of interferon and thalidomide. 21,22. Interferon and thalidomide are also used to treat chronic adult skin LCH. 23. Recurrences may occur after treatment is stopped but may respond to retreatment. Oral isotretinoin has induced remission in some refractory cases of skin LCH in adults. 24. Chemotherapy is generally used for skin LCH associated with multi-system disease in adults. Chemotherapy for the treatment of other single-system disease and multi-system disease. Evidence, chemotherapy for the treatment of other single-system disease, not mentioned above, and multi-system disease. A single center, retrospective review of 58 adult patients with LCH reported on the efficacy and toxicities of treatment with vinblastine, prednisone, cladribine, and citrabine. 25. Patients treated with vinblastine, prednisone had the worst outcome, with 84% not responding within 6 weeks or relapsing within a year. The no response slash relapse rate was 59% for cladribine and 21% for citrabine. Grade 3 or 4 neurologic toxic effects occurred in 75% of patients treated with vinblastine. Grade 3 or 4 neutropenia occurred in 37% of patients treated with cladribine and in 20% of patients receiving citrabine. A report on the treatment of adult patients with either vindicine and prednisone or cyclophosphamide, etoposide, vindicine, and prednisone showed that more than 70% of patients relapsed with either regimen. 26 Level of Evidence, 3 IDEI Atoposide has been used with some success in single-system and multi-system LCH. 
Minimal toxicity was reported with the use of prolonged oral etoposide in adults with skin LCH, while three-day courses of intravenous etoposide, 100 mg M2 day, induced complete remission in a small number of patients with resistant single-system and multi-system disease. 27. Another study at the same center found that azathioprine was the most successful drug for localized disease in adults with the addition of etoposide for refractory and multi-system disease. 28. For patients who do not respond to frontline therapy with etoposide, cladribine is effective for adults with skin, bone, lymph node, and probably pulmonary and central nervous system CNS, disease. 29,30. The first study that used cladribine to treat refractory and recurrent skin LCH disease reported on three patients, aged 33, 51, and 57 years, who received two to four courses of cladribine at 0.7 mg kg intravenously over two hours, day for five days. 29. In a series of five adults, one untreated and four with refractory LCH treated with cladribine at the same dose noted directly above, three patients achieved a complete remission and two patients achieved a partial remission. 30. An adult lymphoma treatment regimen of methotrexate, doxorubicin, cyclophosphamide, vincristine, prednisone and bleomycin, mucop B, was used in three patients with multi-system LCH and four with single-system multifocal bone LCH from 1995 to 2007. Total duration of therapy was 12 weeks. 31. Response was seen in all patients, two with partial response and five with complete response. Three recurrences were seen after therapy was stopped. Despite the small number of patients and the retrospective nature of the study, Micap B may be useful as salvage therapy in adult patients with LCH and deserves further study. 32. Neurodegenerative CNS disease. A case report suggests some benefit to treating neurodegenerative CNS LCH disease with infliximab, a tumor necrosis factor, TNF alpha inhibitor. 33, however, the TNF inhibitors infliximab and etanercept have limited ability to cross the blood-brain barrier. Thalidomide, which also has anti-TNF activity, has been effective in adults with skin and bone LCH. 21,34. Pituitary LCH. A report of stereotactic radiosurgery for the treatment of pituitary LCH in adults showed efficacy in reducing the masses. 35. However, radiation therapy is not considered the standard of care for children with pituitary involvement. Systemic chemotherapy with citrabin and cladribine have been the preferred treatments. 36,37. Targeted therapies for the treatment of single system and multi system disease. Early reports on the use of targeted therapies for LCH patients with low risk or high risk LCH sites include the following. Tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Imatinib mesylate was effective in the treatment of four adult patients with LCH who had skin, lung, bone, and or CNS involvement. 38,39, another adult patient with LCH did not respond to imatinib mesylate. 40. RAS pathway inhibitors. The finding that most patients with LCH have BRAF and other RAS pathway mutations led to several reports of good responses to vimurafenib, a BRAF V600E inhibitor, in adult patients with LCH, Merdheim Chester, ECD, disease, or mixed ECD slash LCH, as well as in severe cutaneous LCH. 41,42, a number of clinical trials of BRUF and other RAS pathway inhibitors in adults and children with LCH are ongoing. MAP2KERK pathway inhibitors. Early results of targeted inhibitor therapy are encouraging, but many questions remain, particularly the optimal duration of therapy and the reactivation rate after therapy is discontinued. It is possible that a combination of inhibitors, such as a BRAF inhibitor plus a MEK inhibitor, Tramonib, shown to be effective in metastatic melanoma, 
or a combination of an inhibitor with chemotherapy may improve the response rate and decrease the reactivation rate after the cessation of therapy. 41.